can you talk about your general thoughts regarding special master's programs and how they can impact the chances of non-traditional students being admitted to medical school? Dina, you have intimate familiarity or insight into this, having formerly been at an SMP program at Brown. Yes. What do you think? I was assistant director of advising for the SMP program at Brown. A lot of the SMP programs are embedded into medical schools, meaning they're special master's program because they condense like two years worth of curriculum into one. And the curriculum often is the M1 curriculum. So often you're taking the same exams, same assessments as M1 students. At the end of the day, you getting through that program, especially as a non-traditional student, can demonstrate to medical schools that you can handle a rigorous biomedical sciences curriculum at the medical school level. You can actually watch our podcast, our Med School Years podcast. Carlos and I have probably interviewed about six I think of my former students from that SMP program at Brown, hearing their stories, like everyone came from such different backgrounds. Most, I would think 99% of students are successful in those programs. You have to be the right fit for it. Look at those programs. They're also very expensive. So, you know, is this going to be cost effective for me to get to my end game? 